to hearing. I need to kind of add a little uh, shine there. And we've got a, uh, got a uh, gold gold jacket with the chain on the bottom. Um, but uh, yeah, today what we'll be working on in particular is another hat trait. So we're kind of getting um, quite a few of the traits up there now. Um, would have been more this week, but I had to finish off some stuff with the lost toys. I wanted some um, I wanted some extra crates, like like the full crates. They wanted like the preemie kind of uh, style traits, so um, did a few extra ones for them. But uh, in return, they'll be sweeping the pad floor uh, once they mint out. So um, I think it was a good good trade. Um, and yeah, they mint uh, the twenty second of this month. Uh, they'll also be obviously whitelist is um, extended to the pad community. I will be making an announcement on how uh, to you, you can achieve that. There's pretty much it's pretty simple. Uh, if you are interested in um, I'm actually not sure if I can show you guys some of the new traits. I, I mean, I don't see any of the um, I don't see any lost toys in the Discord, so I won't get in trouble if. Christian's not in here, and um, I'm the I'm the uh, the uh, Christy Vault guy. But uh, fuck it, let's um, let's preview a little bit. Um, but yeah, again, they want to kind of like the preemie kind of you know uh, traits. So I kind of just created a few extra ones. So like, because someone I think made a comment in there. Twitter, uh, uh, Twitter was like, uh, um, yeah, that they didn't want to, they didn't want, like, they're like, maybe someone doesn't want to be dressed as a clown, because even though their their whole thing is a toy, and it's a jack in the box, they're like, maybe someone want to be dressed as a clown, and then Christian started getting worried, so I was like, well, look, I'm not going to, I've already kind of gone above and beyond with the thing, so I was like, let's, um, if you if you give us a little bit extra, um, to sweep that floor, we'll, we'll add a few in, but, uh, this is an example of uh, some of the extra stuff. A few bucket hats, a few things like that. Um, I quite like these kind of hairdos. Um, I think this one's pretty cool. Tech 9 kind of style. Uh, then a few different kind of glasses and things like that. <coughs> but, uh, you know, the kind of things I like the Hype Beast boys will like. <laughs> Um, uh, what's an example? I think there's also too much more. Uh, but yeah, it actually, it actually looks good in the end, I think. I think it's a good, uh, mixture. But, uh, yeah, you didn't see that from me, guys. Um, uh, yeah, so, again, um, so we have a, a, a old dude was supposed to kind of create the form, but he hasn't got back to me about it. So Spice is going to follow, follow him up, but um, obviously she's in Costa Rica. So I think what will happen in the sense of it, <coughs> you guys will get a big form uh, where you can kind of pick the traits you want to kind of build your pad. Now, this is the, the one thing that I've been thinking of as well, and I think you've raised the point as well. There's like two options where it was like either... Uh, we just allow you guys to kind of build your base tra base pad with whatever traits you do want. I originally wanted it to be like, uh, you can only build it based on the traits that you hold. So again, like if you don't own a gold pad, you can't use a gold body. Because then I imagine like maybe with the honorary, there'd be like 50 people with gold bodies. The only issue is like, <coughs> how do we police that? Um, you know, I don't know if we have the means to be able to like connect a wallet, read everyone's traits within it, and then create a form. So, I, but I think it would just be a fact of um, honestly, it's the best policy. You kind of like build it using traits that you know you own, but then we'll kind of cross reference and and double check. Th the main issue is that I do feel like you know if you if you do have if you do have enough pads to kind of get the honorary status, you probably have a touch of nearly every trait anyway. But I think it's the, the key thing is like to keep those rare traits, like the really rare ones, like um, you know, 
as I said, like um, gold bodies and stuff like that away. But it will it will be basically like a form. You choose the kind of ones you want. We then go in, build each one of them, and then you guys will kind of be, I'll be able to choose uh, the traits, um, the new honorary traits. Now I don't know whether we pull it all together and you choose them all at once in terms of all the honorary traits. Or if there if there was like I really did like the idea of having that kind of like obviously update as we add in more um, honorary. So for instance, like let's say I uh, finish all the hat kind of pull, you can choose all your hats, and then we update the metadata. So like each week when you like so we might have like week one where it's like it gives you the option to to choose all the hats, um, choose your hat for that. For that week, you choose it, update some metadata, your honorary sit in there. The next week, it might be, the next round might be hand traits, stuff like that. The only issue there is like, it means does people, it does mean that people have to go in each week um, or we do it one hit. But the, the, the big key thing is to, to do the form first, which is coming. I know um, it's just something that I'm not, I'm not adept at, so I can't do it myself. So I was going to get older and spicy, but um, that will be, that will be happening. Um, but uh, yeah, they are kind of looking pretty cool so far. Uh, I definitely want to kind of add a few more uh, close traits as well. Um, yeah, I'm still a big fan of the cybernetic, but I think some of these kind of um, the glasses and the hats are looking pretty cool. Uh, we also probably will create like a few things where you kind of add in like tattoos and stuff like that. The good thing is because uh. Because we'll be building them all, I guess, up, there's a bit more kind of leeway in terms of they don't have to necessarily, um, like, if there are clashes, we can kind of adjust them within the honorary themselves. So we can kind of have a bit more fun and a bit more leeway with it. So, I guess without further ado, we will kind of get down to business. So um, yeah, we've got this uh, visor style uh, cap here with a little bit of drip. And there's stuff like this as well, you know, so with the honorary, we'll be having like badges and things like that. So there might be like a badge here and you get to kind of, yeah, the badge will obviously be personalized to, uh, to you. So you can have either your Discord handle or your Twitter handle. I mean, it's whatever you kind of want to have in there. I mean, even if you don't want to have any of that, you just want to have your nickname or your name or whatever, um, that will go there. But as an example as well, you know, you might not want to have a badge, but with a with a hat tray like this, you could have it in here. So you could have, you know, um, liquor grain or dew pad or bot, bot DDR up, up the top or on the badge. Again, it's the custom, so um, there'll be different options. Um, okay, let's drop the uh, line art down, uh, as we usually do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just create the whole line itself. Um, yeah, my computer. important you get these lines perfect. Ah, oh, 
shit, my computer is literally... Yeah, it's going to slow down again. Well, I might need to restart Illustrator in a sec. <coughs> Trying to finish this bit. Just because you always want to have the least amount. Uh, of uh, bevels or points. Just to create some more more curved lines. <laughs> Beat traits, yeah. Yeah, so instead of um instead of like a hand, they'll just be like a golem styled foot. <laughs> kind of just Appearing because it's very flexible. <laughs> um, I do still remember the day when he <laughs> when he did drop that feet pick uh, in the Discord. Still scarred to this day. I think it was the um, it was a toenail for me. That's what uh that's what did it for me. Okay. Got this drip happening. I'm just gonna I think if I just persevere a little bit with the um with <coughs> the spline on the computer, sometimes it goes in patches, so it might be okay. Don't wanna have to restart. I wouldn't have to restart the whole system, I think I just have to restart Illustrator itself. Yeah, just disassociated from it. And then one day, it'll just come flooding back. Usually while you sleep. Um, this place he said he's he'd been quite sick though. Like, well, I don't know. Uh, I didn't I haven't heard from him, but um, I hope he's okay. Yeah, the spicy said he was in the hospital. I was like, fuck. I should need to message him. See how he is. Not today. You locked her out. <sighs> yeah. That's the honor. You're just going to make the feet actually longer.
Yeah, and you're gonna make also the toenails like really long and with chips in them. <laughs> but Adarant's not here to defend himself, so we're just going all out. We love you, but under answer, if you can somehow hear us. We only tease you because we love you. Uh, what up, Cranky G? What up, Oath G? I'm rewatching the stream while he's still in the hospital bed. Hey, fuck these guys. Um, fuck The other day I was doing this, um, I've done a bit of work in, <coughs> did a, uh, it's got a gold jacket and so these uh, gems are part of like what's called a graphic style. So graphic style is um, something you can, it's like a preset, almost like a pattern, but you can apply it to different like vectors and stuff like that. Um, so the jewel one's obviously is one that I quite use often, but on a larger scale, like it's it's set at a certain size. So I was trying to expand it, <coughs> but expanding it, what it does is it actually creates like um, individual vectors, and then my basically like it was too big, and my Illustrator file just started <coughs> churning. You know the uh, spinning, the spinning parasol. And I realized I hadn't saved anything for a while. Uh, and it was one of those things where I was like, fuck, I just left it for 10 minutes and nothing happened. So then I, had a, I was like, well, I had to buy the bullet and just force quit it. But uh, Illustrator actually managed to recover the file. So sometimes it'll do that. If, if it crashes, it sometimes recovers it. Um, so I felt lucky. I 
hate that more than anything, losing work from a crash. Which is a frustrating thing. Done most of the line art here. I think we'll be able to kind of adjust the line weights to match the rest of the artwork. Uh, actually, I might do that now. Uh, actually, I'll pop this. Yeah, you do want to call it, but. <coughs> Um, uh, you know, I like the, obviously I like putting detail and stuff into, into art and like I know some people are like, fuck, how can you sit there for hours and, and just keep adding, but I, I, I like the process, you know, it's more about the journey than the destination, but the feeling of going back along that path when you've already done it is the worst, like it's, I hate it so much. I hate having to redo art that I that I had done, and then I'll find as well because I'm it's not. never going to be the same as the way you did it the first time, right? Hundred percent. You. I also because I'm frustrated because I'm frustrated in what happens. I find I'm like not as meticulous. Like I'm just like I just want to get it. I just want to get back to that. It's almost like I want to get back to the save point in a game. I just don't like. I don't care. What, I don't care about the game anymore or the process or the journey. I just want to get back to where I was. So I'm not like. Yeah, I feel that. You you had a situation where you lost a heap of shit, didn't you, Liquor? Yeah, with Audacity. Yeah, for the sound files. Yeah, it uh, it crashed on me, and I lost one of them. But it's actually happened a couple of times, and most of the time Audacity does recover it. So yeah, shout out yeah. Audacity. Yeah. Um, kind of off topic, but speaking of like losing saved stuff, I literally just seen this video that I watched the um backstory. That some um uh American guy, this black guy, and his wife. Um, he's an NBA 2K streamer, and his 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 job is just is a streamer. Like he blew up, and I think it's a lot from playing NBA 2K. And so they like, and he's made a heap of money. So they live in a mansion and stuff like that. And the wife was like pissed that she doesn't give him attention. So she went in and uh, deleted his my player uh, characters. And like, I mean, oh, I don't, yeah. really, but I don't really. I mean, I don't. I played NBA 2K like back in the day, but I don't understand the logistics. But he had three ninety characters. And apparently that takes fucking forever to do, like, just forever. And he just, lo like, loses his shit, like, like, throws, throws the thing down, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, she doesn't understand, like, she's kind of like, what, like. It's just a game, why, why are you yeah, so yeah. mad at me? Because yeah. it's my life, god damn it. But this is the thing, she's <laughs> saying, she's saying it's just a game, it's just a game. But that's the, like, that's, that's his life. That's how much time. Yeah, how much time has he put into that? It's not just a game, it's his job. Fuck yeah, out of here. Also, also she's, she's sitting in the hat, but she's sitting at the, but the roof over her head is yeah. built by that fucking game. And yeah. then, like, and, I, you know, I think what, I think the thing is as well, is some people kind of, like, um, say, yeah, it's just a game or whatever. But that's someone's, like, that's someone's, passion and that's you know that's someone's hobby or whatever and it's it'd be the equivalent of like even me like me as an artist spending hours and hours and hours on a piece just to have someone go in and smash it or you're like a you're a pottery artist or a sculpturist you, you spend all this time building something and then someone just comes in and screws it up it doesn't matter if it's what medium medium it is it's still like yeah. quite quite uh, reckless but yeah he fully broke up with her he's like at the end he's like i'm fucking done with you i'm done i'm done oh shit and then, yeah and then like apparently i, I looked at the backstory they fully uh, fully broke up 
Oh, damn. Yeah, the whole time in my in the back of my head, I was thinking, like, that's a good publicity stunt, get you a lot of views, you know, get a lot of traction on Twitch. But if they actually, like, fully broke up and it was real, that's rough, dude. That it looks it like, I mean, I... Sorry. Um, uh, yeah, it looked like, um, it looked quite real to me. Um, mm. And uh, the thing that annoyed me is, like, he was proper upset and she's just got no kind of empathy for what's ha what she's done and no kind of like I don't know yeah well you probably don't want to be going out with someone who's that oblivious to how the money comes into the household hmm exactly yeah exactly I mean if he was I don't know I mean I know it's, uh, this is not a really good comparison but like let's say he's like a carpenter and that's his livelihood, and that's what brings it in. It'd be like going into the, his back shed, and she's just fucked up all these tools. Just like, you know, just <clears throat> burns all these tools down or whatever, you know, like. Yep. <clears throat> Fuck those tables you built. You should be spending time with me. Like, no? we. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to spend time on this bed, right? Under this roof. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna be spending a lot of time together when we're living in a tent under the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The van down by the river. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but apparently like it's um it takes like a long time to get 90, like, in one 90 player, and he had three. Like, apparently, it's, like, I don't know, he said it took him 10 years. I don't know how it could take 10 years, but, like, it, it, it took him a long fucking time, and she just, yeah. And Jeez. The, and the thing Thank is, you. as well, when she went in, because she, she films it as, like, a prank, so at the start, she's like, hey, guys, I'm, like, I'm... So fucking sick and tired of him nonstop playing his games. What I'm gonna do today? And blah blah blah. So when she's she actually like he goes out and she's in the program and she can see like she's like whoa he's got three ninety. She's like now I don't know exactly how long it takes, but I know it takes a long time to get just one of these, and he's got three. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. It's like yeah, um, he's gonna leave you. Jeez. Yep, not the best prank there. Yeah. Man, that seems like if that's his entire livelihood and uh, she doesn't even know like basics about what he does, it sounds like they didn't really talk about what he loves or his passion very much, so that's unfortunate. So maybe yeah. all for the best in the end. Yeah, exactly. I also feel like, I don't know, I mean, let's maybe not go too far, but it's like, it's like, I know it's like a, a virtual thing, but it's almost like, I don't know, it's like a destruction of what, like, is that suable? Like, could you be like, you've, you've lost me, you know, cause it's not just- I mean, like, him, yeah, him yeah. specifically, he probably could, since it's his yeah. livelihood. Yeah. Destruction of, yeah, I don't know. Destruction of my livelihood. I don't know how you would phrase it in court terms. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he would definitely have a case on that one. He could prove that that's how he made his money, and she destroyed those means. Yeah, but you'd have you can't have a female judge because she would just be like, if you had like a judge, to be like, <laughs> judge to be like, for a game, just a game. She deleted your video games. That's why we're here, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that would. That's how that would position it. Okay, I'm just gonna save this file uh, before I add anything else in. Okay. Now, let's see how it's positioned. Okay, let's, um, let's just lock in the color. I'm just gonna choose a random color. Get the shapes down. Okay. 
um, my uh, my ex is from she's work uh, working from home, so if you can hear some French or s hear some French accent in the background, it's her. But uh, she's trying to have a meeting. The cat just jumped up in front of the front of the screen. <laughs> classic, classic cat behavior. Fuck your meaning, cat man. She's like that guy's girlfriend, man. <laughs> Uh, just when I thought I had the uh, basement figured out, we moved into a new place, for those who don't know, and the basement flooded the first day that we moved in. Thought I had it figured out, and then uh, doing the rounds to make sure all the uh, the polyurethane, like, caulk is in place, and there's just a massive fucking hole under this other door, and it just never ends. Which is uh, wild. So, what, so it flooded from from rain, or like, another, or like what? Yeah, yeah, from the rain. Here in Nebraska, it's like, uh, all, we're pretty low. To, what am I trying to say? The the floodplain, the, the water level is, is pretty low. So when it rains, it's, uh, yeah. you know, it comes up quick. We got pretty good drainage in the streets and whatnot, but whoever built this house didn't pay too much attention to their gutters. And um, one of the pieces of, one of the big, like, blocks of concrete for one of the walkways kind of, like, caved in. It seems like they had an air bubble or something in there somewhere. And they set it, and it caved in, and so that's where that big ass crack was. Yeah, we filled that one good. in, and then, but the one that I just found is like underneath a door, so apparently they didn't seal off the connection. Yeah, when they added this door, anyway, it's it's a whole bunch of stuff, but yeah, we're getting it slowly figured out, so that's good. Every um, day, another thing checked off the list. Yeah, nice. Went uh, <clears throat> I, so I'm originally from. Perth, which is Western Australia, but I lived in Queensland, like which is uh, East Coast, but up a bit. So they call it tropical North Queensland, and it's uh, it's quite it's nice. Awful. Sometimes like a uh, monsoonal, so um, the there's a lot of houses which are called Queenslanders by by name, and basically the houses are kind of just built on just built up in general, like on stilts. Hmm. So let's put it in the chat. So they're like, um, yeah, all kind of like built on stilts. So we lived in a we lived in a Queenslander with another couple. They had the top floor, we had the bottom floor. And uh, <clears throat> so when I moved over to Europe, literally maybe two months after I moved, Queensland just had a fucking massive, massive rain like here in the in the Brisbane area, and um. Yeah, I remember the couple sending photos, and the whole bottom floor was just full, full of water, Damn. a couple feet high. Yeah, dodged it, man, dodged it. That's what's yeah. up. Well, we had like a, I had a digital piano in there, and that got, that was one thing that got ruined. But, um, oh, I thought you got your stuff out of there by then. My bad. Didn't oh, dodge no, no, no. it. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I was one thing I just knew I couldn't take, so I just, I basically left it there. It wasn't, it wasn't um a super expensive one. It was. Uh, it was second hand, but um, yeah, I know they. I know when it started flowing, they got the TV and the electricals out, but you know the bed got fucked and all that. Um, there was another couple, like an older couple that we knew, uh, friends of my mum, who are up in Cairns, which is like a, like way way north, and it gets very 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 monsoonal there, and they had a house that they just completely lost, like the whole thing flooded out, and they lost their house. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, we haven't had like <clears throat> standing water yet. It was just like leaking in through the walls, carpets getting wet, you know, walls are wet, kind of frames of doors rotting because they haven't tended to it for a while. So we got to replace some door frames. But yeah, thankfully, it hasn't been extreme flooding yet. I think we caught it in time. Those houses are chipped out, though. I swear when I moved here, like, I, when I was a kid, I, I swear I saw houses like that. But when I drive around now, I don't see them. It's like they put basements underneath them or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, you get a lot of those still houses in the south, like Louisiana, where my brother lives, and a lot of still houses. Mm. Is it flood prone there as well? Yeah, especially on the Gulf Coast. 
and they got like hurricanes. My brother lives in Baton Rouge, which is like three hours from the coast, and they still get the hurricane winds and rains and shit. Yeah, shit. Have any of you guys ever seen a tornado in real life? Ooh. Oh, yes, you do. Two. Not like yeah. up close, but yeah, I mean. I've had um, shit just like 10 years ago. The town that I went to school in, which is only maybe like five, six miles, had a huge one rip up uh, Main Street. Tore out all the, like, there were like all these like, I don't know, 50, 100 foot trees that were going when I was like in grade school. They're all gone. Um, yeah, that, that's crazy. I remember being in grade school and we all had to, the school got canceled because there was a tornado. And we're, we're on the bus on the way home and it's nothing but farm fields to the right of us. And I remember uh, we were on the bus and there was a tornado. I don't know how far away it is, but we could watch it. We're just riding parallel with this tornado down the road. That's crazy. That's, just a, that's the only way that I've seen a tornado was on the road. That's why I was like, yeah, I don't know, not really up close or anything. I don't want to be up close, to be honest. Like, yeah, so you guys are not, totally you're, not, not storm, you're, you're, not, you're not a storm chaser. Not me. My girl is. She wants to go see all the tornadoes and shit. <laughs> different different people's idea of a holiday, hey? What do you want to yeah. do? What do, you want to do? I mean, if I had a tank, maybe, you know, like, <laughs> I don't have a tank, though, so I'm going to chill in my basement, I think. Yeah. If anything's coming close. Yeah, we don't really, we don't really get that in Australia. I mean, we, I was on my granddad's farm when I was younger with my, my friend, and a mini tornado came through. I didn't see it, but we felt, we felt the start of it. A storm came in. We were, um, I think it must have been. 13 and I'd set some uh, we just set, finished setting some rabbit traps on the other side of the farm so the farm is like 10,000 acres it's like 14 kilometers across and we'd set them right on the other end of the farm and as we're finishing setting we'd see the storm rolling in I was like fuck that's moving really quick and then as we drove back to the farmhouse it like kind of hit us and because we're in the cab of the car because um, again you can you know I was 12 when I was driving the car around but um your own property and I remember I had to uh had to get out to open the fence. I opened the gate and as soon as I opened the as soon as I opened the um the car door it nearly like ripped the door off its hinges and it took me and my friend because we're just like skinny little fourteen year old runt to to close it. Like we had to pull it together uh to close it. But then the next Man, day, I bet that was scary. Yeah. The next day when we went back out, you know, that's the example where there's like huge, huge trees had just been uprooted and were just over, like, that we had driven past before and it's just like, that's crazy. I think the crazy thing for me is like how quickly it, um, how quickly it, uh, it kind of came on. Yeah, tornadoes can get pretty crazy when they do that shit, like, embed a straw into, like, the side of a tree or something. Yeah, that's cr that's crazy. And then other times it'll pick an animal up and drop it in, like, the next town over completely unharmed. Really? Trying to, I don't know what color to make this. What do I do about that? So, 
I messaged Spicy but no reply. So I don't like the thing. She's obviously off to Costa Rica. Which I'm like super jealous about. But I also just I, I know that she left on the Wednesday. It takes obviously forever from Australia. Or it takes forever to get anywhere in from Australia. Um but also, I was like, fuck, I don't know if she has reception in the jungle, or like with the retreat as well. They're kind of like, we're at like a, we're like a no electronic uh, retreat here. So you know, I think I don't know if they confiscate their phones or, but it's um, yeah, I'm gonna be looking forward to the uh, update. Well, that's a bummer. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that we should get spicy to to message somebody, let everyone know like when she's about to to do her first macro dose, just so we. Just so we all know, yeah, yeah. Spicy's gonna be rolling in about half an hour now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Spicy's first roll countdown. <laughs> we can also just spam her like weird pitches. Nah, we won't do that. It's fine. Pop in the uh, hair color now. I'm gonna turn that off. You know, fuck, I just, it's fucking hot today, guys. Like, <laughs> I didn't realize. It's getting hot here, too, man. Damn. Really looking forward to hearing about spicy. Yeah, she comes me too. back. Just try to keep it quiet because I came back inside and everybody was sleeping. Yeah. We're actually about to go through a cold snap now, which I just love after having high 80s for the last like two weeks. What is I, I Googled that. I'd be like, I'd be like 30.5 uh, Celsius. Yeah, shit, okay. Yeah. And now it's going to be like 16 or 18 Celsius for like the next three days. What are your like? What are your like summer? Is like your is your is it is it like thirties to forties? Is that like a standard summer? Uh, I'd say like the like low to mid thirties. Generally, I mean we've gotten oh shit. Actually, last year we got up into the high nineties. So not sure what that would be in Celsius. Maybe probably the forties. Yeah. Um, and humid as fuck usually too. But um. In Perth, it's like really dry heat, and it gets fucking hot. Like it's it's mid thirties to forties, and I think it was Christmas Day, was like two years ago, and I was like, the temperature gauge on the outside of my car I took a photo of it. I don't know where it is now, but um, it said forty seven degrees. Now I can't. It 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 wasn't technically forty seven out there. I think it was obviously like the heat of the metal, maybe fucking the. I don't think it, I don't think it got to forty seven, but it was like over its forties. And that's Christmas Day, which is like, it's funny because obviously we celebrate Christmas with all the kind of same imagery that Christmas is. So, you know, your snowman. Hilarious. And, I was wondering that, honestly. You know, like, we have like Christmas lights, like in front of people's houses and stuff. Like even uh, my mum and my stepdad went through a phase where we were mashing the Christmas lights, like. We went. They went crazy to the point that they were one of the houses that was advertised. Because I don't know if that's a thing you guys do. You advertise, um, like, did you guys when you were younger just go looking at Christmas lights, like with your family, like just go drive around to different houses to look at the lights. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, did that yeah. a couple. Of so we like we there's obviously some houses that just go all out, and 
as of like one of them that got listed on the news to go check out. So, um, yeah, we have like snowmen. Cool. Do you have like inflatable snowmen and all this stuff like in the, your front yard when during the day it's like, as I said, like 40 degrees, <laughs> you know? But uh, it's quite strange. Yeah, for you to get that picture. Me and my girlfriend that to, hot. to California a couple of years ago. And and all the Lyft drivers and Uber drivers were telling us because they were having the humidity out there. We were out on the coast. We went in the spring. And I was shocked because it was still winter here. So I still had all my winter shit with me. And uh, there, I guess I had to Google it again. <laughs> it was about 20 degrees Celsius when we were out there. I swear to God, it felt like it was—it was like our seven degrees Celsius here in Wisconsin. I was so shocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, here in Spain, we had, like the had our first uh, summer here last year, and I found that the temperatures were quite similar to like Australia in terms of like the your kind of like mid to high thirties, but for some reason. It just felt hotter, and I think being in Barcelona, I don't know if it's this is doing it, but there's so much stone, like huge stone buildings and stone everything. I don't know whether it like absorbs or reflects or I don't know something about the heat. I think also it's like not in Perth where I'm from, it's quite windy, so you get a bit of like wind where it's there's definitely less wind here. But um, yeah, I felt it was uh, it was hotter. looking real good johnny when i first tuned in i saw the hair i thought you were drawing like uh super saiyan shit <laughs> uh, yeah no, it looks cool all right cool cool what? well then wait uh Approach. We can have a blonde, like, we can have a blonde, because I mean, again, Dragon Ball Z, you have like, there's, there's some blonde in there, but I was also like, wait, when they go Super Saiyan, they can still have the blonde hair, but it could have to, like, the light blue, or, I think the blonde is good. The blonde is great, man. Yeah. Just wake up. Yeah. Just to adjust it. Each blonde, maybe like a different shade of blonde. Yeah, just a slight mm -hmm. difference. Send this to the back. There we go. 
uh, that should also go to public below. Cool. Okay, actually, actually, I forgot about that. Um, and just going to swap the other over. And I'm just going to turn off the this out for a second. And I'm just going to add on the way to do it. The rules are the rules, guys. Fuck, dude. You had me really liking that bucket hat last week, but now I'm, now I'm loving the visor. <laughs> God, God damn it. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the, um, that's the intention and that's the problem. Wait, come on. Because I'm the same as well. Like, I, I I, was like, fuck, I don't know if I can, um, I don't know if I can top that bucket hat, but, uh, you know, the visor is looking cool. But yeah, I wanted to kind of create enough equally cool and unique traits that, um, you guys do have a hard time choosing. Because then it obviously creates a lot, of, a lot of diversity amongst the uh, amongst the honoraries. Um, and diversity, as we all know, is an old, old wooden ship. I might just uh, just looking at the time. I might just add uh, the last shading for this little bit, and then we might start to wrap yeah. up. I need to eat my lunch. Um, but yeah, it seems looking cool. Yeah. <laughs> What time is it there by you right now, Johnny? 
uh, 301. I always, I'm a bit of a late, late lunch eater. But again, also like living in Spain as well, everything is, everything is just later. Everything. Here in Spain, everyone wakes up later. They have like, they have lunch later and they also have like, it's a proper thing here. This, this, this is a proper thing here. The cats, the cats are just flying in a weird way. Uh, proper thing here, where, like they do do. You've probably heard of these, like the midday siesta. So like, a lot of shops will just kind of close between like say two and four, and people just go home and and have a nap or go home and chill. Um, and then here in Spain as well. They eat dinner and stuff so late. Like, like they're having dinner at like 9.30 p.m. Whereas, like, I'm from Australia where, you know, I'm used to like 6 p.m., sometimes like 5, 5.30 um, dinners. And because of that as well, <clears throat> there's a lot of places that won't open there's a lot of restaurant places that are just not going to open till late. So there's times where I was like hungry, ready for like, I guess like my dinner, I'd go out to like my favorite burrito place and it's like 5.30 p.m. and it hasn't opened. I'm like, what is going on? But the mornings as well is like quite strange. Like, my, I would like walk my ex to work and she'd start at say 9 a.m. So I remember it's like, it's 9 a.m. And I'm like looking to go get a coffee, and there's coffee shops that haven't opened yet. I'm like, wait, what's happening? But I don't know if it's Barcelona in general, but Barcelona in the morning is like a ghost town. Like, there's just no one about. <laughs> but of course, at night, you know, it's a city that doesn't sleep. It's just always something happening. Um. That all sounds perfect to me. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, I'm um, I'm more, I'm more of a, I'm more of a night, night owl and stuff. Like I, I also find I do my best work at night so it doesn't i don't mind waking up a bit later and and working later um you know uh well that's the thing that sucks about living here too is there's only a few professions you can do where you can legit be a night owl otherwise yeah. everything else everything is so fucking early i mean there's just I got buddies who were getting up and going to work at three in the morning, four in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I actually worked uh, when I was younger. I worked a job briefly for um, I was a, fr a freight handler um at the airport. And you basically just unload all the freight. Um, and that was a get up at two in the morning kind of deal. Uh, yeah. I'm it's not fun at all. Can't do it. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you wanted though, like what you try and do is instead of getting, like, instead of getting a profession that's like needs to be a night out, you get a, you just get, you get like a normal profession that's like a normal nine to five, but you get it <laughs> in like a, you get it in another country. But you work from like so you, you work from home so you're like you're doing the job working from home but it's a different time zone so like you're in their business hours but it's your night hours that would be ideal that could be the hack that's why trading the american market would be great for europe because they don't own, it doesn't open till like two three in the afternoon yeah you don't have to get up at the 6 a.m. and do all your pre market shit. Oh 
still not a Because she wanted him to come get her in the house. That's what I'm saying. So the girlfriend went to a hotel to do something. It's late at night. She has the car. She has his car. She tells him that she wants him to come get her and the car from the hotel. He says, no, get in the car and drive home. She says, no, stays at the hotel, gets the hotel room for the night. Mm. And doesn't come back till the morning. And then comes home and curses him out because he didn't come get her last night. With no car. Because she had. Why didn't she just drive the car home? Or just straight be a shop. I think everyone was eavesdropping on that one. <laughs> Wait, did you, um, you saw my car? I wanted to know the I wanna know the story. Yeah. yeah. But on that note, I am going to go have my lunch, which is a uh, leftover Indian curry. So that's basically what I run on. I love curry. Love it. Not bad spaghetti bolognese. I'm pretty simple. Pretty simple guy. Um, but what I'm going to just do yeah, come on. is I'm just going to pop all these. Come on, you're kicking me on the right foot. Lemon. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Uh, so, oh, no. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. As Ilza mentioned as well. Um, uh, but we also got our where did I put it? Snap back. It's pretty cool as well. I'll need to like stop making them all blonde. I mean, I'm not blonde. It's not like I'm doing it because it's like I'm blonde myself. I just, I just, I can always find it balance as well with the hair. But uh, I'll, I'll put some other other uh, color color options in there for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, we also got a little gold jacket. I think so far, I think my combo that I like uh, the most so far is that with the bucket hat so far. Yeah. But again, that can all change as the as the traits kind of get back up. Um, but uh, yeah, I have put another request in to get um, the form. I know we need to, I know I've said it before, we need to get that sorted as ASAP because again. I think um, as soon as we get that kind of rolling, we are going to get the trait counts up higher. Then we'll be able to um, get those locked in so the base is done. And then we can start dressing them up with some of the honorary traits. But again, here we are. We do start having, we we are starting to have a bit more of a pool. Um, but uh, yeah, it's looking, it's looking pretty cool. Um, but other than that, guys, that's about it for today. Um, uh, I will be back next week with some more stuff as well. And we also have, again, we also have Shroom Sundays this Sunday. I'll be putting up um, putting up the space actually today. Uh, we'll also be doing a bit of giveaway on the space as well. So we also got Jedi Ape, the legendary Jedi Ape joining as a guest speaker, which is going to be a very, very big one because obviously Spice is in, um, in Costa Rica. But then I definitely know that when she comes back, we will be doing a Shroom Sunday spicy tell-all Costa Rica special because I'm itching to find out um, 
uh, what kind of happened there. Uh, but other than that, guys, we also got a few other, we've got some other special live draws coming up, um, which we'll tell you all about very, very soon. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Um, it is happening. Um, I hope when you guys enjoyed... You were supposed to be in a space coming up soon where you were getting interviewed or something. Yeah, actually, that space uh, was supposed to be uh, it was like a week ago, but then they had um, a scheduling area where one of the hosts couldn't make it. So that will be actually happening. I'm pretty sure it's the 23rd. It's the 23rd of this month. So that was the next um, that they're scheduled. But that will also, we'll put that in um, the event list when it when it's um, uh, it is definitely confirmed, but it isn't isn't for a little while. But it will be happening this month as well. Um, and again, as well, there will be a pad. Uh, there'll be a pad lost toys space probably on the 15th so next week as well you guys are obviously all welcome to um and i'll also put the details up that if you are interested in um uh what do you call it um uh, getting on the white list for the crankies because again it's only there's only some limited options um and pad are one of the people uh one of the groups obviously that's extended um i'll show you guys how to do it but it's basically literally uh from what i understand just rock up to their discord say johnny sent me and uh, open up a ticket, and I'll sort you guys out. But um, I will, I will, uh, I'll put that details up, up as well, um, because again, it's on Polygon as well, so it's a different chain. But they, uh, the utility as well. But you will uh, be accessing Snipe Hub. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoy your rest of your day, and um, I will see you guys soon. Um. Uh, peace out, y'all. No, no touching that. Come on.